Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of Rory's Reef Show. Today I feel like getting a predator in my saltwater tank, so I think today we're either going to go look for a snowflake eel or some sort of dwarf lionfish. I did see one at Salty's yesterday. He was about 40 bucks. He fed well, but he's only on live foods at the moment. I did do some research into weaning. That's why I didn't want to pick him up yesterday. I wanted to do a little bit of research into weaning him on the frozen food. And, you know, the research I found was pretty good. Anyways, I'm also, I've, I've had snowflake eels in the past and I always thought they were pretty cool, but uh, I need to get a lid on my tank. So we're gonna go to, uh, we're probably gonna go to Texas Tropical today and we're gonna go to Salty's and we're gonna go look and see what they got. We're gonna put it on montage mode here, guys. guys we didn't even make it to salties i ended up getting at antonada um a small antonada lionfish at texas tropical he's in here we'll show him to you when we get there oh you kind of see him right there my boy's checking out the little ghost shrimp back there we got a little bit of ghost shrimp back there we're just going to put him in a five gallon bucket with a little bit of air stone and i did get some uh frozen krill that we're going to try to train the uh lionfish over the next week or so to to go on to that but um We'll come back on in a second when we're acclimating. All right, guys, we made it home with the lionfish. We're in the door. Wait, why smell like chorizo in here? <laughs> All right, we're gonna plop and drop. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna acclimate. <laughs> Let's get him out of here. There he is. You see him? Hard. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you what we got real quick. So today I got the Antonada lionfish, the small Antonada lionfish. We got a dozen a little ghost shrimp. I'm not sure if you could see him. It's kind of hard to see. Boy, give me that. We got frozen krill, kind of the big ones that are in the full size. We got a little air pump. That was 10 bucks and just a little bit of air hose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ghost shrimp in a little five gallon bucket, probably a little bit of heater since they're going to be outside in this winter right now and just a little air pump. 
and that'll be fine. If not, I'll probably just put it next to the tank. Maybe right behind there. Alright, guys. I have the little lionfish acclimating in his bag right there. The ghost shrimp are up here acclimating. I just have them up here because I put them in a little five gallon with the heater right here. It's got a little bit of water in there, but the temp in there, the heater set to 80. So this is what this tank's pretty much had is about 78, 80. And that's why I'm acclimating him here just for now until I get that going. I still need to set up this air pump and that guy needs to acclimate for a little bit longer. All right, guys, now it's time to cut the lionfish out of the bag so we can mix his water. It's gonna be a little bit tricky here. Alright guys, so I scooped some water out of my tank, pretty much doubled his water in there. It's been about, probably about 15-20 minutes since his water's been doubled. He's just chilling out in the corner over there. I think we're going to go ahead and let him in the tank now. Right in, straight to that cave right there. The flow a little strong for you, buddy. Is the flow too strong for you? Must I turn down the force? What are you doing to that pole? I'm gonna follow him around, see what he's up to. Signature upside down move. I guess we'll let you chill out for a little bit and we'll come back in a little while and see how you're doing.
gonna be your little cooking spot. You can dig that. You can dig it. Oh, hey. So. Tank's been doing pretty good, guys. And all that. One thing we did change, I sold the GSP. I sold the GSP rock, and I got me a few NEMs. I love them. I love them. Everybody else tells me they wish I would have kept the GSP, but... Yeah, GSP is such a beginner squirrel. I wanted something a little bit more challenging, and... I'm kind of hoping that these clowns will go in, too, because I sleep in there at night, and since it's so close... Kind of hoping, maybe, you know, they'll see it, maybe, hopefully, maybe. What a beautiful lionfish, so tiny. All right, guys, so the lionfish has been in the tank for a few hours now, kind of got his bearings within the tank, was able to explore a little bit. But ultimately ended up kind of just staying around the first cave that he ended up uh, hitting when he went into the tank. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see. That's where he decided he likes. He was hanging upside down on that power head for a little while. Kind of freaked me out when I came home. Uh, so I turned off all the power. He was fine. He wasn't stuck to it or anything. He was just kind of wedging himself like almost right up in between there like underneath he was wedging himself up in there and just kind of chilling up in there so i turned off the power and uh luckily he wasn't sucked in or anything like that so he seems to just be chilling oh look the man is checking him out oh no don't want nothing to do with him smart move buddy smart move <laughs> anyways that wraps up episode four of rory's reef show stay tuned to see if we're able to get the lionfish uh, if sex successfully uh, weaned on the frozen foods or not. Um, I'm also kind of thinking of a scorpion fish too. I really like the way he looks. I don't mind keeping live food, you know, ghost shrimp on hand and gut feeding them. I don't mind that. So we'll probably go pick up the, the scorpion fish soon if he doesn't get bought out of Texas tropical. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for episode four. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.